Good day to you. Is there anything suspicious going on in these parts? Indeed, there is. Just last night, Father Godwin was here, calling fire and brimstone down on old Gertrude, the herb woman. He's not one to make a fuss over some trifle either. Do you have any work that needs doing? My dear lad, I have more worries than I can bear. Another pair of shoulders would ease my burden. I have to deal with a local witch. A witch? The herb woman, old Gertrude. That devious hag who will stoop to anything. Like all herbalists, for that matter. Oh, don't tell me. The cows are giving blood instead of milk, and babies are being born with two heads and a tail. This is no laughing matter. Gertrude isn't evil. She just has peculiar ideas about what's good for people. A little bird told me she incited some Ujets women to witchery. A little bird told you, did it? You know how good people are at seeing the splinter in another's eye and not the beam in their own. In other words, someone's been gossiping. And what's the problem? As long as herb women stick to giving psychic to folk and bloated cows, assisting in childbirth, or burning incense in bedrooms to help with sleep, then nothing at all. But this, this is sacrilege, and it's unsafe. All sorts of molds and lichens and poisonous plants and other foul things go into those concoctions. I'd hate to see her poison some poor gullible lass. What do you want me to do? I want you to go and see her and find out what she's been up to. I know she lives in fear of the Holy Church. So tell her I sent you. That will make her talk and think twice about encouraging witchcraft. If you learn that she truly did involve folk in some foolishness, find out all you can and deal with it. Consider it done. Good. And never fear. I'm a man who always pays his debts. You'll find Gertrude, the old herb woman, in the woods. Good luck, then. Greetings. How may I help you? I've come from the priests. They're saying you incited some women to witchcraft. Me? Witchcraft? That's nothing but idle chatter. Don't you know that witches get burned alive? There's no need for trouble. I'll tell you everything. I've done a very foolish thing. It's preying on my mind so much I can't sleep a wink. But I'm supposed to believe an old witch has pangs of conscience. 
Laugh if you like, but it's not a word of a lie. You probably know I sell various magic lotions and potions alongside my herbs. Well, there's one I wish I hadn't sold. You see, Vera, Zlata, and Kuta from Uzitz wanted a magic ointment from me. I kept refusing them, but in the end, I let them talk me into it. What kind of ointment was it? One that will show you a world no one else can see. A place of wonder and terror. The flowers might start talking to you, or the earth could swallow you up. I don't know if it's the work of the devil or of God himself, but the ointment has that power. But it could poison any person who doesn't know how to use it right. So all this talk of witches anointing themselves and then flying to their sabbaths on broomsticks? The ointment could make a person see such things. But it was stupid of me letting those foolish women get their hands on it. They could poison themselves or fall off a cliff while they're lost in a dream. Will you give me the ointment recipe? It contains belladonna and the herb Paris, both quite poisonous plants. That ought to make you think twice about dabbling with it. So why did you give them the ointment at all? Because I'm soft-hearted. You see, one of those women, Vera, lost her whole family in Skalitz. And Zlata's husband was killed. And the youngest of them, Kuta, miscarried with the horror of it all. They said they wanted to use the ointment to speak with the dead and ask them to put a word in with the Lord. Yeah. I understand how they feel. But I reckon it'll get them nowhere but the ducking stool and the stake. Judge not, lest ye be judged. I didn't want to give them the ointment, but they offered me a pile of groschen. So I thought how desperate they must be, and I heard their plea. Their plea, or the clink of their coin? And why are you so worried about them all of a sudden? What changed your mind? I'm losing sleep over it. Firstly, those women don't know what they're doing. And secondly, folk might see it as witchcraft. And do you know what they do to witches? They burn them alive. That they do. So don't be surprised I'm worried. It didn't bother you before, though. What did they want the ointment for? Each one of them lost a loved one recently, and it's grieving them. They wanted to talk with the dead. What kind of ointment? One that will show you a world no one else can see. I don't know if it's... So all this talk... The ointment... I want to know something else. I've heard enough. If you've heard enough, you must understand why I need your help. Find out from those women what they intend, and watch over them to keep them safe. Very well. But only because the priest himself asked me to. Thank you a thousandfold. I'll go to the reverend myself and explain. You take care of those women. Take care.
I've heard something about a magical oint. Really? I'd like to know where from. And what concern is it of yours anyway? The herb woman sent me. Gertrude? What does she want? More money? It's not about the money. She's concerned about your health. That ointment can be dangerous, and she wants what me to that? make sure you don't do anything foolish. She said that, but I can't believe it's all that serious. If she's really worried, tell her to come with us to the crossroads at night, but not a word to anyone else. Jesus. I heard something about a magic ointment that you got from the herb woman. You heard that where? And what business is it of yours? The herb woman sent me. Gertrude? What does she want? Haven't we paid her enough? That's not the point. The ointment's dangerous, and the herb woman doesn't want you getting up to anything foolish. Thanks for the concern. But we're grown women. We're old enough to make our own choices. And what we do in the woods at night is no one's business but ours. I heard something about a magical ointment. What? Who told you that? Was someone asking around? Gertrude sent me. And what did she say? Does she want to add something to the ointment? No. She's worried about what you'll do with it. It's quite dangerous stuff. Witchcraft and sorcery never brought any good to anyone. And praying has. The years I spit down on my knees. But where was God when that pack of cumins came and slaughtered all the folk in Scarlets? I was with child. Did you know that? But the horror of it drove the child from my womb lifeless. If charms and spells won't help us, nothing will. We're doing no wrong. We go to the woods alone... At night, and we hurt no one. I won't say any more. You might twist it against us.
Yeah. Yeah. Well, there. Shy. So playing games with the devil is all right, but dabbing some ointment on your cunny is going too far. Aye, well, don't peek for a bit. I'm not sure. <sighs> don't worry. Plenty of women have tried it before us. What if it does work? What if he does appear? But that's what we want, isn't it? Let's go.
We're here. I hear someone coming. Who's there? Is it you, Kuta? No, I'm still over here. What's going on here? Welcome, Prince of Darkness. And make yourself at home. What would you like us to do? We will fulfill your every wish if you fulfill ours. Prince of Darkness, what in God's name are you babbling about? Why are you testing us? Testing you? Jesus Christ, what have you been smearing on yourselves? A magic ointment? From the herb woman, we are ready to pleasure you, Lord. In return, all we ask is that you rid us of the humans. And if you won't rid us of them, then help us get away from here. Give us riches, so we can start a new life in the city. I'll give you anything you ask. I knew it. Thank you, my Lord. In return... You'll have to... have to... Shit. I feel very weird. Oh, that ointment. You smeared the ointment on me. Fear not, my lord, nothing will happen to you. It's all part of the ceremony. Oh, shit. What the fuck? What did he do to me? Quite well after your long journey. Huh? Long journey? What? From the gates of hell to here. When will you take care of the humans? And why don't you have horns and hooves and a goat's tail, like the priest said? I flew in on a tree branch. It took no time at all. Flying on a branch? Will you teach us how to do that too? We are your maid servants now. We'll do anything you wish. I, I got rid of my horns and hooves along the way. and uh, I keep my tail in my breeches. I only get it out for special occasions. <laughs> I hope there'll be one soon enough. How come you're a talking mare? What mare? Does your sight deceive you? I'm Vera, and I turn many a young man's head in Ujits. Um, actually, I wanted something else. What's that, oh lord? Will you serve me and do all I tell you to? Oh yes, our lord of Hellfire. We'll do whatever you want. Just rid us of those wretched cumans. Which one will you take first? Me. Take me. No. Me. And what about the other one? Why doesn't she speak up? Kuta, you chicken. Speak up. I want you, Mare. Vera. I knew it. Come on, come closer to me.
That was tough. Oh, but I'm all dizzy again. What is wrong with you? Is something going to come of it or not? No, I need to... to sleep. Bugger sleep! What was that? What is it? Someone coming! What happened here? Shit! Oh my god. These are no demons, just flesh and blood woodcutters. I'll never be able to explain this to anyone. A fucking old Damn that old hag. Now what?
I found out more about the Egypt's witchcraft. Pray, do tell. The women have got hold of some magic lotion from the herb woman, and they're using it to summon the devil. For the love of heaven. I followed them to where they held their Sabbath. They summoned the devil, danced around a fire. Oh my God, what else? The women were completely out of their minds from that ointment. Then some woodcutters stormed in. They wanted to put a stop to the witch's Sabbath. Good God. And what happened? I had to kill the woodcutters to save those women from them. For Christ's sake! How could you? Such needless slaughter! Those men meant well. Was there no other way to stop the bloodshed? The woodcutters were beside themselves with rage, baying for the women's blood. There was no reasoning with them. There must have been another way. I couldn't. I'm so sorry. I can hardly fault you. It's my fault too for letting things slide so far. I should have taken care of the herb women and those poor women myself. Pray for the souls of those unfortunate Christians. Pray, because you have blood on your hands. At least you see where dancing with the devil can take you. Take care now.